President Granger was at the time given an address at the launch of the Education Exposition at Durban Park. According to Granger, his government intends to use much of the oil revenue it will get on education. Every Guyanese child will be educated at all four levels, nursery, primary, secondary, and tertiary, at state expense. It is your entitlement. Where will the money come from? Well, we are exploring the possibilities of increasing petroleum production after 2020. And part of that money is going to go into a natural resources fund, is going to go into a sovereign wealth fund, but a lot of it is going to go into public education. These are not empty promises. This is a plan to make sure that you get the best education that is available in the Caribbean. Meanwhile, Minister of Education Nicolette Henry spoke of the use of technology to bridge gaps in the education sector. She also noted the potential the exposition has to showcase Guyana's education sector. From nursery right through to tertiary, Gaps of disparities are being bridged every day, certainly by technological advancement and also in many, many training opportunities. This exhibition provides the Ministry of Education with an excellent opportunity, I believe, to showcase the various educational opportunities available to the public and also it will allow you to see some of the development within the sector. Last year, the Education Expo had to be called off until 2019 owing to the negotiations at the time with the Guyana Teachers Union. This year around, there were approximately 68 booths showcasing various institutions and what courses they have to offer. Some of the participants included the Government Technical Institute and Aurora Gold Mines. Gerald Bryan, The Evening News.